All right, guys, so check it out. I'd say one of the biggest trends in cannabis, indoor cannabis cultivation right now is probably the spectrum tuning light. What you're looking at right here is a four channel spectrum tuning light from GML. I'll leave you a link in the description below if you guys want to get this light. This light with the master controller is roughly 1500 bucks, so you know. But I'm going to show you in this real quick video of what spe spectrum tuning does and how it how it's like pretty cool actually because I'm a big nerd. So most of your full spectrum lights right now are, I mean, they're all dimmable, but when you're dimming your light, you're dimming all spectrums. With this light, I can dim different spectrums of the light to create light recipes that really don't naturally occur in nature. And so I'm gonna show you what that's all about. And it's, it's really cool. So right now you're looking at all four channels running at 100%, and that's running me 1,536 watts. Now I have preset recipes because I can dim different spectrums of this light. So this is the recipe I use for vegetative. Now you can see this is a, a deeper blue spectrum. So, and you can actually see it in the reflection of the Mylar back there. But I'm gonna run through the different presets I have just to give you guys an, an idea of what this light's actually capable of. And it's really cool. So this is like going into flowering and then all the rest of these presets are just for flowering different phases because what you have to realize is the light wavelengths are changing during flowering. They're not all the same. And some of your lights can't produce the light that this thing can. I'm just going running through these so you guys get an idea of the different light. And this is pretty much what I run at the end. It's a, it's a cool white light. You know, it's not too intense. And right now, this is only running six, 615 watts. So as you, you know, site, you, you don't have to run the full 1500 watts, but this is definitely capable of doing it. And so that's it, guys. If you really want to take your game to the next level when it comes to growing cannabis indoors, I think a spectrum tuning light is definitely the way to go. I think that this stuff's going to get way better in the future, too. But I love this light. Like I said, I spent 1500 bucks on it, and I'm not regretting it by any means. All right, so that's it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay green and keep growing.